This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIP SD key offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 20% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or GCash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. Hey guys, we're back again for our news sa PC tech industry. For our headlines, GPU prices are starting to go down. So, bagsak presyo na po. Uh, si G-Skill, merong bagong mid-tower case. Si Corsair naman, new gaming monitors. Si Razer, may mga bagong mouse mats. And si NZXT, papasukin ang monitor market. So, first tech news. So, GPU prices going down. Um, bagsak presyo na po. If you're planning to build a PC or just want to upgrade your graphics card, now looks like to be a good time to start. So, recently, bumaba ang mga prices ng mga high-end RTX 30 series graphics cards. For reference, the RTX 3090 Ti is down to $1,499 from $1,999. The RTX 3090 down to $1,299 from $1,499. And the RTX 3080 Ti from $1,199 to $1,099 na lang. With that said, now might be a good time to upgrade your graphics card or build a new PC if you've been holding off dahil sa high prices from the GPU shortage. So recently, kung nakita niyo yung upload ko na 120,000 na RTX 3080 na build, so 120,000 na lang guys. Ngayon na talaga ang oras para makapag-build na kayo ng bagong PC. It's below MSRP na po talaga yung price ng mga GPU. Nabili po namin doon na RTX 3080 is nasa around 55,000. That's MSI na Gaming X, yung trio. For 3080Ti, that's siguro mga around 65,000 mga ganyan. So, yun. Talagang below MSRP na. Guys, ano pang ginagawa nyo? Mag-upgrade na kayo. <laughs> so, next, si G-Skill meron ng mid-tower case. So, G-Skill is expanding its product offerings as it announces a mid-tower case in the form of MD2. So, it features a sleek front panel design and ARGB lighting. So, as well as side vents with S-curves, for side vents and airflow. Spring-loaded contact din ang front panel para mas madali mag-access pag mag -e install kayo ng fans at maglilinis ng magnetic dust filter. Now, for compatibility, you can install ATX motherboards up to 395mm GPU length. For drives, you can mount two 2.5 inch drives at the back plus two more convertible 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch drives. Sa so cooling naman, you can install up to seven fans up to 360mm rads and up to a 170mm air cooler. No word yet on availability and pricing but for racing fans, this could be a good option since racetrack ang inspiration behind its design aesthetics nito. So punta naman tayo kay Corsair. Meron po silang bagong gaming monitor. So kung naghanap kayo ng pagkakagastosan, check out nyo yung latest monitor ni Corsair. First in the lineup is the Simeon 32 UHD 144, a 32-inch monitor that features Quantum Dot IPS panel, 1 millisecond response time, and pre-sync premium support, and it's also G-Sync compatible. You get 4K resolution, 144Hz refresh rate, HDR600, 100% Adobe RGB, and sRGB color gamut. Its ultra-thin bezel are also perfect if you're going for a multiple monitor setup dito. If complete ng setup nyo for streaming, you can further improve it its integrated multi-mount point that can support cameras, as well as Elgato accessories for ports. Meron tong dual USB Type-C and HDMI 2.1. DisplayPort 1.4, USB 3.1 hub with charging support, and 3.5mm audio output. For those na nag sa dead pixels, Corsair will exchange your monitor during the 3-year warranty period even if it has one or more bright pixels or six more dark sub-pixels. Good job, Corsair, on that. If okay na sa inyo ang QHD or need nyo mas mabilis na refresh rate, there's the Simeon 32 Quad HD 240, halos same lang din ang features with its 4K counterparts, except for the QHD resolution, 240Hz refresh rate, and the lack of multi-mount point. The Simeon 32 UHD 144 cost 1000 
US dollars. And if my monitor arm na kayo, you can go for the cheaper $900 option without the stand. The Simeon 32 QHD 240 on the other hand comes at $700 and $650 pag wala yung stand. So kay Razer naman tayo, para sa mga Razer fans dyan, may bagong mouse mats and mouse si Razer para sa inyong aesthetic setup. First is the Razer Strider Chroma. It's a hybrid soft hard mat that offers smooth even glides at hard surface for precision. Measures 900 mm by 370 by 4 mm ang kapal niya. May space sa para sa keyboard and mouse nyo. Both, of course, hindi makukompleto na walang RGB, syempre. It features 19 customizable lighting zones that you can personalize through Chroma. Kung kailangan nyo naman ng mas malaking mouse mat, the Razer Goliathus Chroma 3XL is the one for you. It measures 1,200mm by 550mm with a thickness of 3.5mm. It features a micro-textured cloth surface for speed and control. According to Razer, it's optimized for all sensitivity settings and sensors para kahit laser or optical mouse ang gamit nyo, good pa din kayo. Meron din tong non-slip rubber base that stays firmly on place kahit during intense moments ng games nyo. Customize mo din ang RGB through Chroma. For that other V3 Pro naman, this is the latest entry in the that other lineup. It features Razer Hyper Speed Wireless Technology, Razer Hyper Polling Technology. Very lightweight at 63 or 64 grams depending on the color and the Razer Focus Pro 30K optical sensor. Meron ding itong AI functions such as smart tracking, motion sync, and asymmetric cutoff to give you a leg up sa competitive games nyo. For battery naman, Razer says it can go up to 90 hours. Both mouse mats and the mouse are now available. The Strider Chroma costs around 8490 while the Goliathus Chroma 3XL comes at 6990 The other V3 Pro, on the other hand, costs at around 9590 pesos. Yeah, next, excited ako dito dahil si N60, uh, pinasok na po ang monitor market. So, this one comes of a surprise. So, si N60 ay nag-announce ng kanilang gaming monitor lineup. The Canvas series sa ngayon, may dalawang monitors sa lineup. Namely, the Canvas 27 QHD and the 32 QHD Curved. These monitors both feature 1440p resolution at 165Hz refresh rate and AMD FreeSync Premium support. So they're available in black and white and can be purchased without the stand. For pricing, the 27Q is $590 while the 32Q curved is $429 for the black versions. Mas mahal ang white version ng $20 both units. If monitor lang ang need nyo, you can get that 27Q block for $319 and the 32Q curve for $379. So similar to, to the previously mentioned options. Mas mahal ang white version ng $20. So available then ang monitor arms for $99 for the single arm and $169 for the dual arm. So dito excited guys, ay Ryzen 7000 CPU pricing. If excited na kayo mag-move up to the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, it turns out a Canadian retailer listed the prices for them. The news came from the Twitter leaker Momomo underscore US. So here are the details. The Ryzen 9 7950X cost $1,158 Canadian dollar and the Ryzen 9 7900X $798 Canadian dollar, the Ryzen 7 7700X $631 Canadian dollar and the Ryzen 5 7600X $435 Canadian dollar. So for reference guys, uh, that's 50,000 pesos, uh, tapos 34,500 pesos and 27,290 and 18,800 respectively when converted to the local currency. According to a report, it looks like they won't be coming with a cooler bundled upon your purchase. So this is at the time of writing. And as with any leaks, it would be best to wait for official announcement, lalo na sa respective regions natin. So there you have it. This has been Action. So see you again next time for more tech news.